Greetings, friends. Progress is being made in Congress. As millions of Americans continue to see prices rise, Democratic lawmakers are now trying to put a stop to it. Democrats have proposed a bill that they claim would help the American people pay less for more at stores. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell has also just made a big announcement that many say will affect major pieces of legislation. My dear friends, please do me a big favor and watch until the end of this video. Also know that every Friday, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, please make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. I'm filled with heartfelt gratitude and humility for the opportunity. But now it's 2024. I'm now 82. As Ecclesiastes tells us, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. To serve Kentucky in the Senate has been the honor of my life. To lead my Republican colleagues has been the highest privilege. But one of life's most underappreciated talents is to know when it's time to move on to life's next chapter. So I stand before you today, Mr. President, and my colleagues to say this will be my last term as Republican leader of the Senate. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. However, I'll complete my job my colleagues have given me until we select a new leader in November and they take the helm next January. I'll finish the job the people of Kentucky hired me to do as well, albeit from a different seat. And I'm actually looking forward to that. So it's time for me to think about another season. I love the Senate. It's been my life. There may be more distinguished members of this body throughout our history, but I doubt there were any with any more admiration for the Senate. After all this time, I still get a thrill walking into the Capitol, and especially on this venerable floor, knowing that we, each of us, have the honor to represent our states and do the important work of our country. But Father Time remains undefeated. I'm no longer the young man sitting in the back hoping colleagues would remember my name. It's time for the next generation of leadership. As Henry Clay said in this very body in 1850, the Constitution of the United States was not made merely for the generation that then existed but for posterity, unlimited, undefined, endless, perpetual posterity. President Biden expressed frustration in a Super Bowl ad this month, addressing the issue of shrinkflation, where companies reduce the size of products while keeping their prices the same, leading to higher profits for them. Concerns about rising prices are significant among voters, as the 2024 presidential election approaches. And some blame Biden for inflation. With the rate of price increases slowing down, some attention is shifting to shrinkflation. The practice has led consumer advocates and lawmakers, including Senator Bob Casey, to take action. Senator Casey introduced a bill aimed at combating shrinkflation, which affects everyday household items like cereals, chips, and toilet paper which affects everyday household items like cereals, chips, toilet paper, and much more. The proposed legislation, known as the Shrinkflation Prevention Act of 2024, 
empowers the Federal Trade Commission and state attorneys general to crack down on companies engaging in shrinkflation without reducing prices accordingly. Senator Casey argues that corporations are deceiving consumers by reducing product sizes without adjusting prices, thus resulting in higher costs for the American family. The bill also addresses a broader concern called greedflation, where corporations raise prices faster than inflation to justify higher profits. Casey's legislation seeks to hold companies accountable for such practices. The legislation has garnered support from several Democratic senators and consumer advocacy groups. It aims to ensure transparency for consumers and prevent corporations from profiting at the expense of households. In the wake of Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell's announcement of his forthcoming departure from the Republican leadership position, after a record 17-year tenure, speculation abounds regarding his potential successors. Among the prominent contenders for the role are three Republican senators, all of whom share the name John. They are John Thune, John Cornyn, and John Barrasso. John Thune, age 62 and representing South Dakota in the Senate since 2005, emerges as a front-runner for the position, notably, Senator Thune has held the position of the number two Republican in the Senate since 2019, demonstrating his aptitude for leadership within the party. Similarly, John Cornyn, age 71, from the state of Texas, presents a formidable candidate for Mitch McConnell's successor, with a Senate career spanning since 2003. Senator Cornyn boasts a legal background, having served as an associate justice of the Texas Supreme Court. His tenure as a number two Senate Republican for six years underscores his experience in Senate leadership roles. Experts say Senator Cornyn's past consideration as a nominee for the Supreme Court further attests to his prominence within the Republican ranks. Another contender for Mitch McConnell's leadership position is John Barrasso, age 71 and representing Wyoming in the Senate since 2007. Barrasso's journey through Republican Senate leadership positions, including chairing the Republican Policy Committee and assuming leadership of the Senate Republican Conference in 2019, highlights his credentials for the role. Appointed to the Senate in 2007, John Barrasso has established himself as a respected figure within the party with an understanding of Senate dynamics and Republican priorities. While Thune, Cornyn, and Barrasso emerge as frontrunners for Mitch McConnell's successor, younger senators such as Tom Cotton from Arkansas and Rick Scott from Florida may also try for the leadership role. Rick Scott, in particular, previously contested Mitch McConnell for the position in 2022 and may seek to leverage his political ambitions once more. Well, my great and beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. Dear friends, thank you very much for being part of this community. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, every Friday, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, do make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dearish friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed week.